To keep things clear and simple for today, because we have a limited time, we're going to be focusing on three of these areas uh, of attentional focus, three of these points on the spectrum. Um, the three we're focusing on are geometry, the second is dramaturgy, fancy word for context or bigger picture, and the third is imagery. Um, so what we're going to do now is a little kind of lab uh, where Claire is going to share some movement that she has created to a poem uh, or using inspiration from a poem by Morgan Farley. Um, we're going to show you this short phrase. I'm going to read the poem as a kind of a prompt. And then we're going to go into some of the feedback and cueing information that I'm going to give using these, uh, these EFA prompts, these external focus prompts. Now, here's, here's the deal. Oh, who says that? Sorry. <laughs> it's our president. Here's the deal. Um, I'm going to do the first two uh, prompts, which are geometry and dramaturgy. And then you all are going to contribute to the prompts using imagery. Okay. You're going to, I'm going to invite you to add some image ideas uh, into chat. So we're all going to be coaching and prompting Claire together. So Claire, let's start with your beautiful phrase. Um, okay, and I, I would like to encourage people to move with me as well. But yes, you are welcome to get up and and uh, and mirror Claire. So Claire, are you ready for me to read? Okay. Yeah. There is a way to live that makes the angels cry out in rapture. There is a way to live that makes each cell a star. Come, stand with me here. It is cold, I know, and silent. Nothing is happening. The next breath and the next is the new life. Beautiful. Thank you, Claire. It's nice to see that again. We worked on this a lot in our in creating the course, and uh, it's nice to come back to this movement. So if I'm going to think about providing some feedback, again, I'm staying away from the IFA feedback of reaching fingers and, you know, pointing your feet and all that stuff. But I'm really thinking about, first of all, geometry. I'm thinking about some of the shapes I saw. And Claire, can we go through just the beginning of your phrase again? There is a way to live. So here's a beautiful, big half moon shape, right? Thinking about that giant curve in your arms, a semicircle. And also, you can rest for a moment, but um, I also see a triangle in your legs. So from the side view, right? Instead of saying, find that passe or, or bring your knee up, right? Thinking about finding that triangle in your legs and really making sure that triangle stays open. Beautiful. And you go on a little bit further now into the phrase. So again, those, those reaches. And here I have sharp angles in the elbows. So that's another geometric formation I can use. And now going into a beautiful overcurve, what we might call an overcurve, but again, that half circle and thinking about the curve and circularity of those arms. So imagining that there's, there's a circle that continues sort of in perpetuity under your hands. Yeah, beautiful. Um, great, I'm gonna pause there because I wanna get into the other EFAs as well. So the second one is really the dramaturgy. And actually we can go right from there. This is um, really about the context or the meaning that we're trying to get across. So the words are, come stand with me here, it is cold. So Claire, I want you to imagine that you're, you're bringing someone in to you. You're, you're you're speaking to somebody. You're calling them to come closer to you. How does that change your movement? How does it change your intention? I'm reaching further. <laughs> yeah. You, and, and your focus also becomes, goes out to the distance. There's somebody perhaps far away who you want to come share this, this space with you. Yeah. I notice the whole upper body opens in a different way. 
And then uh, the next line is, and silent, nothing is happening. So how is we, as a dancer, how are you representing nothing is happening <laughs> while standing on one leg and moving your arms? <laughs> what does that nice mean? With a triangle. With and a triangle. <laughs> I'm trying to be as still as possible. Mm. So the nothing still has some movement, but we're not adding accents. We're not adding um, a lot of really strong qualities here. It's really just a very smooth, almost like, well, I'm not going to use imagery because that's going to be your job. But again, that dramaturgy of finding, finding the nothing, finding the calm within your own performance. And then the final is uh, the, next, the next breath and the next is a new life. Great. Is, I want you to think about also the, the energetic shift there from nothing to possibility. So really emphasizing the calm here. And then there's that spark of a new breath, a new life. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. So what I saw that time was kind of a quickening of your energy. Um, I think it's easy when we're going from calm movement to stay mon monot monotonous and just go from calm to calm. Do so we really want to highlight that new breath? is a, a quickening of, yeah, exactly. Beautiful. Great. How did that feel? It felt super because it suddenly had another color layer on it um, that it doesn't in the kind of like basic movements, but also rhythm, as you said, the rhythm changes just by giving uh, the intention of the poem. So for our dramaturgy, really highlighting those points connecting with the geometry. And again, it might be conceivable to think that these, these would be applied to different levels of learners, different ages of learners. Uh, I find sometimes the geometry is, is easier with, with younger dancers uh, who are studying this geometry, perhaps in school, and it's really cool for them to deal with triangles and circles and squares in dance class. Um, for, for anyone along the spectrum as well, understanding what does that poem mean? What is the depth of the, what does the poet mean? Um, what is the intention of the, of the words here? Mm -hmm.